This is absurd. We have no assurance that this so-called emissary is not hostile. But the radio message said he was an ambassador. How many ambassadors have preceded invasion in our own Earth history? The United States would do well to follow Soviet lead in uh, placing their troops on alert. For God's sake, this is the first contact humanity has had with extraterrestrial intelligence. Do you want them to think we're savages? Thinking with our guns instead of... People of the Earth, attend my words. Two million years ago, my people began a vast seeding program. We sped up evolution on several thousand planets, bringing forth life where there had been none. Your Earth was one such planet. In a sense, you are our children. And like watchful parents, we've kept an eye on you. But you have not come far enough. We see that you have a small talent for war. We've seen your primitive conflicts, your crude weapons, your petty bickering over borders, and the nuclear balance of terror which precludes any real victory and we despair. We bred you for finer things, and you have failed miserably to produce the potential we nurtured in you so long ago. And so the experiment is over. Within a day, our armada will be in position around your Earth. At that time, all life on your planet will be destroyed. Order! 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 It's absurd. How do we know you can't do it? If you really need a demonstration, um, keep watching the skies. Order! Madam Chairman, Madam Chairman. The chair recognizes the delegate from the United States. Mr. Ambassador, surely you don't mean to condemn our race to death without giving us a chance to speak in our own defense. Surely that's not fair. The universe, Mr. Fraser, is not fair. Do you think we made this decision in haste? We've been debating it for many centuries. Centuries? Oh, yes. We are a very long-lived and patient people, but even our patience has limits. You must give us one more chance. <sighs> You've had your chance, many of them, over the centuries. Yes, yes, that's true, Mr. Ambassador, it's true, but we've never had this much motivation. You say what, your ships are arriving in, in, a, in a day. Give us that much time, one day. What do you think you can accomplish in so short a time? I don't know, but you must give us one chance. At least let us show you the potential you saw in us at the dawn of time. Very well, Mr. Fraser, you have your day. 24 hours. Until then. Order! 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 Please, 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 if ever there was a time for us to put aside our difference as it is now. I am not convinced. Before we enter into peace negotiation, I must have proof that this uh, threat is real. Proof? Proof? You've seen their spaceships. You just now saw him disappear. What else do you want? Excuse me. The Royal Observatory in Greenwich. They say it's urgent. He said keep watching the skies. Halley's Comet. It's gone. We've got to find everything we can. Disarmament. Aid conferences. League of Nations. World Court. Salt Treaty. Sure, everything that's never worked before, why should it work this time? Damn it, we don't have time to start from scratch. It'll work. Because it has to work. Yes, there it is. 
the awesome ship has returned exactly 24 hours since it disappeared yesterday. But we have confirmation from UN sources that an historic accord right. has been reached All among right. the 15 members of the Security Council and approved by acclamation of the General Assembly. There is today total peace among the peoples of the Earth for the very first time. Good luck to us, my friends. Good luck to us all. Well, Mr. Fraser, what have you there? Peace, Mr. Ambassador. Peace. Within these pages lies the framework for worldwide unilateral disarmament. <laughs> we, the people of the Earth, have at last made common cause against our own primitive savagery. <laughs> I fear you have misunderstood me. <laughs> Your savagery is an issue, that's true, but... <laughs> You see, on the thousands of planets under our control, we breed warriors, gentlemen. Warriors to fight for us across the galaxy. In your case, your savagery has not bred true. You are woefully backwards in the art of war. You fight erratically and clumsily. Your weapons are shockingly crude. And worst of all, in your hearts, you long for peace. A small talent for war. Too small, too small to be of any use to us. There's no matter, we'll just have to try again elsewhere. But I thank you for a most amusing day. You people have a delightful sense of the absurd. You might take some comfort in that. After all, as one of your fine Earth actors, Edmund Gwynn, once said, dying is easy. Comedy's heart. If we are pawns of dark powers, then even our highest aspirations become a grim joke. But if not, then no one will goad us toward world peace or take it away once we've achieved it. Doubters, please note, you've just seen it achieved once, however briefly, in the Twilight Zone.